Protests in New Caledonia flared up after seven pro-independence activists were detained and taken to France for the alleged role orchestrating riots against a controversial voting reform bill. A town hall, police station and several other buildings were set alight across New Caledonia, France's High Commission to the South Pacific Territory said. Among those flown to mainland France was Christian Tain, who was charged in connection with riots, looting an arson last month in which nine people were killed. The violence broke out over plans to extend voting rights to people who had lived in New Caledonia for more than 10 years. French President Emmanuel Macron then visited the territory and suspended the proposed reforms to allow a return to order. New Caledonia's French High Commission said widespread unrest began on Sunday night and required the rapid and determined intervention of law enforcement agents and firefighters in various locations. Fires were started in the capital, Nomia, while outside the city in Dombia, police, premises and vehicles were set alight. The High Commission said at the northern end of the main island, a town hall in Kumak was set alight but quickly brought under control. New Caledonia's firefighters issued a plea to local leaders to allow a return to calm. Union spokesman Gwen Val Cambon told local newspaper Lo Nouvelle Caledonians that despite the dedication of firefighters, violence has escalated among young people as municipal vehicles and institutions came increasingly under attack. Many schools were closed on Monday and New Caledonia's vice president, Isabel Chambro, said her government was working on a plan to ensure more people could safely return to their studies. Meanwhile, the Field Action Coordination Cell CCAT has called for the immediate release and return of the seven activists flown to France, some 17,000 kilometers away. They are due to be questioned over their alleged role during protests and subsequent unrest in the French territory. CCAT has accused France of inflaming the violence, condemning France's colonial tactics in moving the activists away from New Caledonia. France colonized New Caledonia in 1853 and made it an overseas territory in 1946, granting rights to indigenous Kanaks. Today, New Caledonia has a population of about 300,000 people, including 112,000 Kanaks. As things stand, voting in the territory is restricted to Kanaks and those who arrived from France before 1998.